All right, so the big news of the week was PlayStation 5. They finally revealed their uh, price range for their consoles. So let's kind of go through here, and then we can discuss at the end. Um, so the PS5, they're going to have two versions. Uh, they've already announced that, but they're going to have the physical version, which has a uh, HD, um, Ultra HD Blu-ray um, drive and the other version which is all digital and as far as I know the digital version just doesn't have that drive um, I think that's the only difference between them so the it launches on November 12th and it's launching in the US Japan Canada Mexico Australia New Zealand and South Korea and then on the 19th of November, it launches globally. Um, so the pre-orders were already started, but they were a disaster. And I'll, I'll go through that after this video. Um, now you have the main features are custom CPU and GPU, 4K graphics, um, ray tracing support, ultra high speed SSD with integrated input output. Um, that's supposed to increase or decrease loading times, 3D audio, and haptic feedback with the DualSense controller. So those are the main features of the PlayStation 5. Um, so there were some new games announced. We have Devil May Cry Special Edition, Final Fantasy 16, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, Hogwarts Legacy, and a new God of War, which... It was just a like a teaser trailer. There really wasn't anything there. Um, now, some good news. Uh, the launch titles were announced. We have Astro's Playroom, Demon Souls, which I made a video last week speculating that it might be a launch title. I'm very glad that it is. Destruction All-Stars, uh, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, and Sackboy, A Big Adventure. So those are the launch titles. Um, <laughs> like I said, obviously, I'm super excited for Demon Souls. And then the next thing they announced was a PlayStation Plus collection. So what's the PlayStation Plus collection? Well, for PlayStation uh, Plus members um, that have a PS5, you're going to get um, a curated library of PS4 games. Um, some of the games announced in there are Batman Arkham Knight, Bloodborne, amazing game. Fallout 4, I, I also like that game. God of War, Monster Hunter World, Persona, Persona 5, and more. So they picked like some heavy hitters so that people who buy the PS5 early, they're going to have some of the better uh, PS4 titles to play. You know, since after you beat the launch titles, there's not much going on. So, um so basically, uh, I'm happy with the Dark Souls launch date. Um, I think that uh, they did a good job with the prices. Um, four ninety five uh, or four ninety nine. That's doable. That's doable. And I know they're taking a loss on it, even selling it at that price range. And then. Three ninety nine for the digital. That's a different route that Microsoft took. Um, Microsoft said, "Hey, we're going to give you a cheap Xbox One S. It's not going to be as powerful as the Xbox Series X, but you're going to have access to all the same games on Game Pass." So they took a different route. Um, so I just want to say that I uh, said that I would pre-order it if. Dark or Demon Souls was a launch title, so uh, yeah, <laughs> I did, 